And the third context, of course, is that the age of pluralism is not just about how we study this diversity or how we appropriate it as citizens, but how we appropriate it as people of faith. Because people in every single faith tradition are faced with this same question that brings you here tonight. How do we interpret the diversity of human religious experience? How do we understand it um, as Christians or as Muslims? And one thing is very clear, that uh, pluralism is not just this diversity. Pluralism is engagement with this diversity. It is uh, not just tolerance, because tolerance is far too thin a foundation for a world in which we live as closely with one another as we do. Um, we need to know more about each other and not simply tolerate each other. And pluralism is not relativism. Pluralism does not mean we all agree on this thing or that thing. The paradigm of pluralism does not require us to leave our identities and commitments behind because pluralism is the encounter of commitments. And it means holding our deepest differences, even our religious differences, not in isolation, but in relation to one another. And the language of pluralism, finally, is the language of dialogue. And it is a language as we enter into the world in which we live today and will live for the rest of our lives. It is this language of dialogue that we need to learn, a language of hearing and listening, of witnessing and hearing the other. And uh, this is the language, so to speak, the discourse of the future.